Kaushri. Welcome to Skincare with Lenka. Before we start, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it a lot. In today's video, I will review and try a cleansing oil, hyaluronic acid serum, niacinamide serum and a salicylic acid toner from Standard Beauty. I haven't tried these products yet, so I will share my first uh, impression with you as well. And don't forget to check out my previous uh, review about Standard Beauty. Uh, I will link the video somewhere here and you can also find it in the description box. First, I will talk about uh, the products and their ingredients and later on I will try them on as well. The first product I will talk about is their cleansing oil with jojoba and grapeseed vitamin E, vitamin e and palmarosa. So in my previous video, uh, my review video, I said this product is fragrance free and in fact it isn't because palmarosa is a essential oil. So beware that if you think it doesn't have fragrance, it actually has fragrance. Um, so watch out about that. Um, so for me, if it's a wash of product, like you apply it and you know rinse it away, is not such a big deal, but I tend to stay away from essential oils and fragrance in my skincare generally. So you need to be careful when you are uh, buying uh, some products, especially if you have some essential oils allergy or fragrance allergies, uh, or in the past you had some irritation from it. Um, you must watch out and read the ingredients list carefully. And also, probably you have to Google because I didn't know that Palmarosa uh, is an essential oil. I thought it's some uh, plant extract, so the, the fault was on my side. I didn't check it out properly. Um, so just be careful um, uh, that it is some products are fragrance free and some products they contain essential oils. The first product I noticed has essential oil is the vitamin C serum, if I remember correctly, and it had some citrusy essential oils, which they could be especially problematic if you go on the sun and they react uh, with your skin sun with the uh, with the citrusy essential oil, and it can uh, you can end up with a nasty rash. So just be aware that something like that can happen, and always wear sunscreen. But let's go back to the cleansing oil. Um, so even though it has essential oils, I will still use it, as I mentioned before, when it's wash of product, it's not that big deal. Uh, for example, my shampoos and conditioner, they all contain fragrance. Uh, and it's also very hard to find fragrance free. Uh, any but anyway, um, let's talk about uh, the ingredients uh, in this uh, cleansing oil. And uh, by the end of this video, I will also um, use it and remove my makeup so you can see if you can remove the waterproof mascara, eyeliner and a red lipstick as well. So uh, stay tuned for that and I will do double cleanse method. So I will first use the oil, break up the, uh, the makeup, I will rinse it off and I will follow up with gentle cleanser. <laughs> I keep forgetting uh, to talk about some points but what I want to say first Packaging, uh, it's cute, pinkish, uh, all the materials are sourced from South Africa and it is made in South Africa, so I really, really love that. Uh, I love to, I always love to support local businesses. And let's open up this baby to see how it looks inside. Um, yeah, all right. Um, so this is how it looks. I will I will do other close up uh, later on. The first ingredient I would like to talk about is jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is very stable, doesn't oxidize and doesn't degrade easily. It is used in many many skincare products, um, and it is an emollient, uh, which means it softens the skin, make it more smooth. Uh, it is a antioxidant and it has anti-inflammatory properties. But you should be aware some people might develop uh, contact irritant dermatitis um, or allergies but this doesn't happen very often so not to worry about that it just i'm just letting you know that that may happen next ingredient is grapeseed uh, oil or extract um, grapeseed oil it is a antioxidant it is anti-inflammatory contains high uh, amount of vitamin e 
And again, vitamin E is a strong antioxidant and helps uh, scavenge the free radicals and it improves the skin barrier function. Another uh, oil in this cleanser is a avocado oil and avocado oil is super moisturizing. Next product I would like to talk about is their salicylic acid BHA 2% toner with niacinamide and ginkgo biloba. So this is a toner, um, BHA is a salicylic acid and salicylic acid is lipophilic, that means that it will concentrate in oily areas of your face. Uh, it works wonderful for a blackhead, so it will go directly inside the pores, clean the gunk and uh, remove it. Uh, it is also uh, exfoliant, so it can gently exfoliate your skin uh, and that helps prevent the break breakouts. So this is a fantastic product if you have oily T-zone or um, you have acne pr uh, prone skin. Um, this is must have, but do not use it more than three, maximum four times per week. Otherwise you will over exfoliate your face, especially if you uh, use another acid in your skincare routine. Um, again, the same design would be and the cleansing oil, really nice. Uh, it's actually quite sturdy. I think it's it is plastic. It's definitely not the glass, but uh, very nice. Uh, let's talk about the ingredients. So uh, it contains niacinamide. This is vitamin B3. Niacinamide is uh, anti-inflammatory. Uh, reduces redness. Uh, it is great for um, someone uh, with rosacea. Uh, or acne prone skin as well because it is controlling the sebum production uh, in our skin and therefore helps with the acne as well. I use it because uh, vitamin B3 is very important for healthy skin barrier function and it brightens and even out the skin tone. It contains ginkgo biloba extract. Ginkgo biloba is uh, anti-inflammatory, it is an antioxidant and um, it soothes the skin as well. Another wonderful ingredient in, the, in this toner is a glycerin. Glycerin is a humectant. That means that it holds into the water and brings it into our skin, so it hydrates our skin. But don't forget, with all the humectants, you need to follow up with moisturizer, otherwise it can dry up your skin more. Next product I would like to review is their hyaluronic acid serum 1.5% and this looks to me amazing. I wish the Standard Beauty would do all the products like this. It has no fragrance, I hope, <laughs> but I, I checked really this one. It has only five ingredients, it's hyaluronic acid, glycerin uh, and uh, some uh, water and preservatives. So this is... Uh, you know, perfect, perfect learning acid serum, uh, really just no nonsense. And I'm really, really excited to try this one. So let's open up the baby. Oh, nice. So uh, it looks like this. I will, I will do another um, footage with close up and everything. Uh, but this is glass and it has Dropper, nice, really nice. So let's talk about these uh, ingredients. Hyaluronic acid and glycerin are humectants. That means that they will hold into the water and bring it deep to deeper layer of our skin. Uh, and again, I have to emphasize because people uh, apply the hyaluronic acid serum and they say, oh, it makes my skin more dry. Uh, yes, you need to lock that moisture inside, otherwise it will evaporate and pull out more water from your skin. So always, always, always you need to use moisturizer with humectants, otherwise it will dry your skin more. Next product I would like to talk about is their 
6% niacinamide cucumber extract in 1% hyaluronic acid. Uh, so again, if you using this one, you don't you don't need to double up with this one. Is you can use just one. So I I really like that they do combinations as well. Um, so this is 6%. Uh, for example, Skin Functional and um, The Ordinary, they have 10% niacinamide, but it doesn't mean necessarily it is better because lots of problem, uh, lots, pro lots of people they have uh, problems uh, with high strength niacinamide and it causes irritation. Uh, so I'm really, really excited to try this one. I never had a problem with 10% niacinamide, but I'm saying if you are someone with more sensitive skin, you might uh, consider a lower concentration uh, to start with. Uh, let's open up. And again, so it's the same design, really nice. Uh, it is important that skincare uh, that can oxidize uh, has dark um, dark bottles so the sun doesn't easily get into that and oxidize so that's really really nice that they have dark ones and uh, let's talk about 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 <laughs> all right let's talk about the niacinamide uh, again it is um, vitamin b3 as i mentioned before uh, just quickly repeat it is uh, anti-inflammatory it is great if you uh, need to reduce the redness uh, it is absolutely fantastic for acne prone skin because it controls the sebum production it is the oil production in our skin and it is really important for healthy skin barrier function even out and brighten the skin as well it also contains hyaluronic acid uh, I hope by now you know that it is a humectant, so I don't need to re uh, uh, re repeat it again, at least in this video. It also contains some fruit extracts, which I'm not always fan of because again, it can cause some irritation. Uh, it is best to avoid it, but it, this one has only two. And uh, I always laugh when my dermatologist says, like try to avoid skincare, um, their ingredients looks like a fruit salad. <laughs> Um, but anyways, uh, this has a cucumber extract, uh, which is a antioxidant and it is very soothing for the skin. It contains also pineapple extracts and specifically bromelain, uh, that is an enzyme that helps exfoliate the skin. Well, let's remove my makeup now and I will use the... The cleansing oil so with cleansing oils you need to really work and give it time to break up that makeup it's not like my cell water that and it's gone so just uh, be patient and work it <laughs> it doesn't have very strong fragrance though um, so it's not like um, uh, so I used before um, cleansing balm from Pons and oh my gosh that has horrible floral fragrance uh, so this is definitely definitely much better it's a shame because it didn't have to put any fragrance in there All right, so I will go rinse my face um, and also this cleansing oil, I should have talked like that. <laughs> cleansing oil also uh, contains some emulsifiers, um, which means that when you contact with water, it uh, forms the like a milky consistency and it's easy to wash it off. Um, so I will do just that and I will follow up with the gentle cleanser as I would do normally and I will come back. I am actually very impressed with this uh, cleansing oil. It is really, really good. It took all my makeup off with no problem. Uh, as you can see, it is nice and clean. Uh, next step, we will follow up with 2% uh, salicylic acid toner. You just use the cotton round.
All right, so thumbnails is done. That's all you need to do. Or you can even put it in your hands and apply it like that. I prefer uh, with such a liquidy um, uh, formulation to put it on a cotton round so you, uh, you don't lose the product. And uh, just feels like a normal toner. Um, my skin stings a little bit, uh, but this is because I already used the BHA face wash in the morning and I didn't realize I will be applying uh, BHA again. So that uh, could be the cause why I'm experiencing a little bit stinging. And, uh, but otherwise, feels really, really good. And uh, next step is hyaluronic acid serum. This hyaluronic acid serum uh, feels uh, and is very similar to uh, the hyaluronic acid serum from The Ordinary. Uh, feels really nice. I have nothing uh, bad to say about it. It's really, really nice. Um, you, uh, after that, my, feel, my skin feels a little bit tacky, but that's all right because we'll follow up with other stuff, so it doesn't matter. And the last one I will try today is their Niacinamide 6%. All right, so this serum feels exactly like the hyaluronic acid one. It is a little bit thicker. So I think what you, um, when it's thicker is because the of, because of the glycerin, uh, the consistency um, feels really good. Has no fragrance, yay, love that. Um, and just let's follow up with a moisturizer. Um, so at the moment I'm using this is uh, Epizone Plus Hydrating Cream with Urea. Um, you can use this for face and body, no problem. So I just use that. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my video, please give it thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you can see all my future videos and don't forget to subscribe. It will mean a lot to me if you do. Ciao, ciao. see you next time.